वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू गाइड यू अबाउट वाई डेप्थ ऑफ बीम इज मोर देन इट्स वेथ इफ यू सी इन मेनी बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन द डेप्थ ऑफ द बीम इज मोर देन इट्स वेथ सो वट्स द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड यूर हाउस सो द डेप्थ ऑफ द बीम शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इट्स वेथ सो वट्स द रीजन दिस इज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल द एंड टू नो अबाउट this reason as you can see guys this is beam and this is its section guys both are section but this is its width and this is its depth suppose the depth of the beam is here 12 inches this is 12 inches and here this is 12 inches if you see this one is 4 inches okay let me show you the depth is here 9 inch the width is 9 inches here the depth is 4 inches here the depth is 12 inches so guys if you see here these are columns means these are supports this is the other column okay on the top of this this is beam if you see the beam section you can see clearly which depth is here 4 inches why i am guiding you for this topic that's why because many students they comments in comment comments box that what's the reason behind this so this is the main reason which i am discussing in this short video so this is the depth which is 4 inches the section you can see on the top of this column which is 4 inches so when the load comes or when the structure load comes on the top of this beam so this is the structure load okay okay suppose the structure load is 400 kg per or you can say 400 kg per feet suppose this is the structure load of the building which applied on the top of this beam which thickness or or the depth is 4 inches which you can see clearly so already it will bend same like this guys you can see that's why because the depth is minimum it cannot support the structure load it makes deflection so to resist deflection at this place so you should increase the depth of the beam that's why because it cannot resist with this structure load suppose i am applying the same load and the depth i increased up to suppose i increase up to 9 inches look at here guys this is 9 inches now this is the other example so at the 9 inches so let me remove the load from here okay So here now the depth is this one. Before this it was four inches. Now it's nine inches. Again I applied the load. Load is same four hundred kg per feet. So guys, you can see this is the first one deflection which you can see clearly. Suppose it is anything. Okay, consider anything. So now I applied the same load. Now you can see the depth is. 9 inches so if the depth is 9 inches so it can resist with this structure load so therefore maybe the deflection you can't see properly maybe same like this or maybe you can't see this one so now let me remove the first one the last one look here now you can see this is the other deflection so let me increase this up to 12 inches as you can see here so now i increase up to 12 inches same load you can see so now you can't see the deflection that's why because it can resist more than this thickness that's why because 4 inches can't resist with this structure load and 9 inches can resist more than this one if you see the 12 the 12 inches can resist more than uh, or you can say four times of this thickness so therefore the depth of the beam should be greater than its width okay so before this i already uploaded a video that how you can find the depth of the beam or width of the beam it's also depend on the structure load but remember one thing from aci or from is we have different uh, methods and also different formulas but remember one thing if you are going more than two story building so you should hire the structural engineer to give you the structure drawing for beam column slab foundation according to the structure load they will apply those loads on the different structure they will give you the proper design of different rcc structure which can help you and you will not you will not face uh, any problem in the future but if 
but if you are not calculating any structure load and you can consider anything that's why because if you are going more than two story that is called or three story four story that is called mega project and you are not able to find the depth and size etc from yourself but it's depend on the structure load guys so this is a short video to guide you why depth of the beam is more than its width that's why because four inches is less than okay less than this value or the other value so therefore when the applied load comes on the top of this so it can't resist so therefore it should be greater than its width that's why because when the load comes on the top of the beam beam transfer the load to the columns column transfer the load to the footings guys you can see these are footings and the footing is also depend uh, so at structure load is also uh, very important because this structure load or this footing transfer the load to the soil okay so this is soil as you can see or earth you can say so now therefore when the load comes on the top of the beam beam transfer to the column column transfer to the soil so therefore soil is also very important uh, you should know about uh, uh, it's different types of soil and different bearing capacity because different bearing capacity is uh, depend on the different uh, types of soil so before starting any building construction you should check the bearing capacity of soil according to the bearing capacity of soil you should know uh, the knowledge about size of footing size of beam columns slip so therefore we can increase or decrease the grade of concrete a uh, grade of steel etc so this is a short video to guide you about this topic which i have discussed the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye